So I have two bottles. Can you see this clearly? Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What can you uh, identify from this? Observe from these two bottles. The two bottles are in same color. Yeah, same color. Same size. Same size. Same size. Same shape. Same shape. Okay, I didn't get something identical. They are symmetrical. They are symmetrical. Okay. They are congruent, ma'am. Okay, I got. They are congruent. Okay. And also, they are identical, ma'am. They are identical. Okay. So here I have two coins. See. So this is two one rupee coins. So, do you think if I place one over the other, will they stack up? Will they coincide each other properly? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No? Question again? Yeah, I have two identical one rupee coins. Okay. So, these are two identical one rupee coins. So, yeah. Okay, ma'am. So, if I just place one above the other, will they coincide? Ma'am, actually, one rupee also there are some say, uh, shapes and sizes are different, ma'am. Yeah, but these ones are identical. So I have just, yeah, I have told you these are identical. So these are similar. See, they are of the same size. They are produced on the same year. Even the inscriptions are the same. Yes, they have been produced in 2016. So the same, everything is same here. So if I place one over the other, will they coincide? So I got no till now. So yeah, I'm seeing some answers in the chat box also. Let me see. See what do you think, Lelda? Do they coincide? So if I place one over the other like this, so will they coincide? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I got one S. So is there someone who is feeling that it? It won't coincide. So I got in the beginning. So you are telling me it won't coincide. Can, so can you repeat the question, ma'am? Okay, children. So I have two same coins. Okay, uh, two identical coins. So two one rupee coins which are made in 2016 of the same size. See, see, they are same size. So if I place one over the other, will they coincide? So that is my question. One over the other. Can so ah uh, yeah. So if I show it, then it's the answer, right? So if I just place one above the other, so if suppose these are the coins, so if I place one above the other, will they coincide? So will they cover properly? That's that's what I meant by coincide. No ma'am. Yes ma'am. Okay, I got yes, both. No ma'am. Yes and no's. Yes, okay, then let's see. Let's do it. So I'm placing. Yeah, I'm taking the same side. Okay, I'm taking the heads right now. So I'm just placing like this. Now, are they coinciding? So are they covering properly one above the other? See? No, ma'am. They are not. No, ma'am, not. Why do you think they are not coinciding? I can see they are coinciding. See, they are perfectly fitting. Can you see the other coin if you look through here? It just feels like there is only one coin, right? Can you see any part of the second coin? No, ma'am. Maybe because of reflection, you are feeling that. See, so this is the first coin. So, can you see the second coin, which is just below the first one? No, ma'am. So they are coinciding, no, or they are perfectly fitting, right? So if yes, I look through the side only, then only I can see that there are two pieces. So if I just look from above like this, so like this, I can't say whether there are two coins or one coin, so because they are perfectly covering, right? Today we are going to see yes, some shapes which are perfectly coinciding. Yeah, I got in the beginning some names. Okay, let's see that. Okay, let me just share my screen.
Okay. So, can you all see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, ma what do you see in the screen? Circle, square, segment. Yeah. And triangle. Line segments, squares, triangles, and then some circles, right? So, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, right now, I'll you have to identify the similar shapes or the identical shapes. Okay. Tell me uh, whether the two line segments A, B, and C, D are they identical? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I only got one S. Yes, ma'am. Others, please answer through chat box if you can't uh, switch on your mic or if you can't unmute. Just answer through chat box also. Let me see. Okay, what about the two squares, A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H? Ma'am, they are in same size and shape, ma'am. They can yeah. have same, ma'am. Yeah, so they are, they are having same size and same shape. We can, by seeing them, we can say that they are same or identical. So, if I place uh, this square above this one, what do you think? Will they cover perfectly? Okay, I got Swatika's answer. Uh, yeah, if if I just draw this in a paper, if I dress, just draw this uh, A, B, C, D in a paper, this square in a paper, and then place it, uh, uh, cut it out and place it above this E, F, G, H, this square, will they coincide? Will they cover properly? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they will. So, similarly, what about these triangles? Are they identical? Yes, ma'am, they are identical, ma'am. Even the circles are identical, right? Yes, ma'am. So, what do you call such figures? Congruent. Yes, so Demya is saying congruent. So, what do you think, Danush? What do we call such figures? So, I got one answer. Congruent. Yeah, congruent, okay. So, as you people have been saying, they are called congruent figures. So, what do you mean by congruent? So, Mom, when the two figures were equal. equal. Yeah, when the two figures are equal. Okay, that's Ma'am, same, same length and same I, measure of angles. Ma same length and same measure of angles. Okay, that depends on which are which are the figures we are considering, right? So, if we are taking talking about angles. Then suppose you have two line segments, so there is no angles formed there, right? So it depends on uh, the figures we are considering. Okay. So as you have said, as you have been saying, congruence, uh, congruent. That means uh, we can just say that they are equal. So the figures should be equal in all respects. That means uh, so if they are considering their size or shape or their measurements or their angles, if they are forming some angles, all these should be equal. If the two figures have almost everything equal, then they are said to be congruent. Okay. So, what do you mean by congruent? Congruent means? Congruent means yeah. Read. Means that equal in all the respective figures, fi figures or the shapes and the sizes are both are same. Yeah, so congruent means equal. So, as you have said, it means equal. Okay, do you know which from which language this word came? So, congruent. Ma'am, Latin. Yeah, it is from Latin. So, I think Demi has said that. Do you know its meaning? Do you know the word? It's, okay, it's, it's coming from a Latin word. Ma'am, same. Uh, same is oh, uh, kind of correct. Okay, the word identical. identical. Yes, that is also kind of correct. Yeah, everything comes there. So, congruent, this word comes from the Latin word congruent. Okay, you don't have to remember this, I am just saying that. So, this word means to agree. So, we just Okay, this uh, this is just the word uh, 
correct proper meaning of the word but it means to identical equal or same whatever you are saying is correct so it's just the word meaning of this latin word congruent okay it means to agree so we can say that congruent figures are equal so that's kind of easy for us to remember right so the figures which are equal in all respects in all aspects so uh, the stripes shapes should be same their size should be same so i think everything will come under that okay so then one repeat latin word congruer okay ma'am yeah okay that's additional you don't actually need that just look into that it will be good if you learn all these names and yeah my first question are all line segments congruent no ma'am no, ma no, ma only that congruent ma'am no i got so many notes but i didn't get any reason so can you tell me the reason ma'am ma it depends on what to take ma'am what we compare okay that depends on that uh, okay, i didn't properly get ma your words on different line segments have different measure ma'am okay that depends on measures okay yeah so you are telling me that two line segment could become congruent only when they have same measurements right so okay. if i just draw something like this so this is 5 cm a line segment ab this is 5 cm and this is cd and this is 5 cm what do you think are they congruent yes ma'am okay even though their yes, shapes are like that Yes, ma'am. They are congruent. Okay. Ah, uh, do anyone feel that they are not congruent? Yes, ma'am. They are not congruent because they are they the size and the shape are changed, ma'am. Ah, uh, size is correct because five centimeter they are the same, and shape for line segment. Okay, they one is kind of slanted, one is horizontal. So I'm just saying that. Okay, then let's see. Yes, let's check whose answer is correct here. Yeah, let's see that. Yeah. So I have here two line segments. So AB and PQ are two line segments. So they are. of 20 cm and so suppose that i am uh i am increasing the size so they are 32.3 cm right now so uh, the line segments for line segments to be congruent we just need to look at their measurements their sizes we don't have to look at whether they are parallel or whether they are uh in the same Uh, shape or uh, slant whether there is some slanting nothing like that so these two line segments are congruent okay children so for line segments we just need to look whether they have the same length is that clear for all yes i'm clear okay yeah so if i just make this line segment some 40 cm so look at the other one so i am just rotating also now also so their measurements are 29.3 cm so they are congruent so ab and pq are congruent even if i make this line segments like this so again their shape the their orientation have changed but still they are congruent so for two line segments to be congruent you just have to look at their lengths so how much is the measurement so here it is 29.1 So the other also should be twenty nine point one. Is that clear, Ashish? Is that clear for all? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. Good. So then let's move to the next one. So, do they have to be parallel for two lines? No. no there is no such thing they don't have to be parallel yeah their only thing is that their measurements should be equal their length should be same okay
Now, when do we say that two angles are congruent? when they are having same measure same size ma'am uh, same size okay same equal measure okay same when their measurement okay so when their measurements are equal so i got same size also so can you tell me what do you mean by same size is that the measurement itself yeah when the measure is equal yes so so suppose you have two angles like this is 110 degrees and this is 110 degrees so one is rotated so do you think they are congruent yes ma'am all of you are thinking like that are they congruent yes ma'am yes so i got all of them are congruent okay so as you are saying so angles when you are looking at angles they are congruent if they have the same measure so you don't have to look at their length of the rays which are forming this angle or their orientation so they just have to be same measure so that's the only thing you need to look when they if you are just checking the angles are congruent okay so here i have two angles of 36 degrees so look at this ab and ed are they of same measure this line segments ab and ed no ma'am yeah they are not so i can so even though i am making uh, this line segment long you can see that that measure the angle formed so angle bac and angle edf they are of the same measure right now they are 24 degree right so they are congruent even though this line segment is uh, longer but still the angle is the same so this angles are congruent so is that clear for all yes ma'am uh, i didn't hear that is there anyone having any doubts no ma'am okay then so we have seen about lines and li okay lines line segments and angles okay then now we are going to look into something else so when do you say two circles are congruent ma'am when their diameter is equal okay when their diameter is equal okay i got when their diameter is equal what about i didn't see here what remia said when the diameter or radius what ah yeah right diameter or radius so so suppose that i have a circle of 5 cm so and one of 7 cm a circle of 5 cm and a circle of 7 cm are they congruent will they be congruent no they are not congruent no ma'am they are not congruent yeah so they won't be congruent because for two circles to be congruent their radii or even the you can say the diameter or the radii in it, the so they should be equal so if you have to draw a circle of uh, circle which is congruent to a circle of 5 cm then you have to draw a circle with 5 cm itself so two circles are congruent if they have same radii or diameter okay is that clear so this is just yes, refreshing your memory you have studied all this right mrs yes, yeah. yes okay and now what about squares so suppose you have squares like ma'am their angle should be equal okay. and their measurement equal the length should be equal ma'am okay so i i got an answer like their angles should be equal so ma'am angles are always equal ma'am it should be equal ma'am yeah angle will be Yes, yeah, for all squares we have the property that their angles are ninety degrees. So you don't have to check for angles. But what about their sides? So I have two squares here. So this is five centimeter and let it be seven centimeter. So are they congruent? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. They are different. Yeah. Different. Yeah. So they are different. They cannot be congruent. So for squares, what is the condition? Same. Same should be equal, ma'am. Yeah, their sides, uh, the sides should be equal. Should be equal, ma'am. Yeah, yes. So, two squares are of the same size. Same sides are congruent. So you just have to check whether the sides are equal. Okay then. 
Now tell me when do we say that two triangles are congruent? Ma'am, when the measurement and the length for I mean the I'm angle is equal, ma'am. Equal. Uh, I I didn't get the answers. Can you repeat? Ma'am, when the angle is equal, when the angles were equal and even the measurement is equal, ma'am. Okay, when the angles are equal, even the measurements. Okay, the length the length should be equal. The angles should be equal. Okay. So yeah. there is one more thing. And yeah. even the shapes, ma'am. Okay. Even the shape should be equal. Okay. So let's see. So I have an, a triangle ABC and I have another triangle PQR. So this is 60 degree. This is uh, 50 degree and what should be this one then? And then 70 degree, right? And this is again 70 degrees. This is 30 degrees. So, this is 80 degrees. So, do you think these triangles are congruent? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, they are not congruent. Yeah. Angles are different. Ah, yeah, their angles are different. Okay. Then let me just draw another one. So, suppose I have a triangle with all the angles and the sides are equal, like this one. So, if suppose I have a triangle like this. So, this is my triangle PQR and all the uh, angles, all the sides are equal. So, AB is equal to PQ and AC is equal to this uh, QR and suppose all the angles are equal 60, 70 and 50. Do you think they are congruent? No ma'am. One is inverted, that is the only thing. No ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, once can you repeat the question ma'am? See, I have two triangles. Okay, ABC and PQR. So, they have the same uh, sides and same angles except one of them is inverted. So, do you think they are congruent? So, I got Remya's answer is? Ma'am, if corresponding, no, ma uh, corresponding lengths were equal then they are congruent ma'am. Okay, so here I have all the corresponding lengths and corresponding angles are equal. Then they are congruent ma'am. Okay, they are congruent even though they are inverted? Yes ma'am. Okay, then let us see that. So, for two triangles to be uh, congruent, okay. yeah. so let me show you. So, here we have something interactive. So, here we have two triangles. So, this pink one and this green one. So, I am going to, do you think they are congruent? So, they are. No, we do not know the conditions. No, no. Okay, they, let, let me, me say. All the sides are equal. This is an equilateral triangle. So, all the sides are equal. So, and here also, the sides are equal in both the triangles. So, do that you think? That means the corresponding sides of both triangles, ma'am. All the sides are equal in both the triangles and, okay, let me say. So, they are um, some 10 centimeters each. equal to each other, ma'am. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear, hear that. Ma'am, are they equal to each other? Yes, yes, they are equal to each other. They are equal then to some 10 centimeters. Ma'am. Okay, then? They are congruent. Okay, now, uh, okay, so this is Hariga, right? Yes, ma'am. So, Hariga is telling me if all the sides, so I have given the condition that all the sides are 10 centimeters. So, all the sides of this, both the triangles are 10 centimeters. So, then she is telling me that they are congruent. Mm, what about the angles, ma'am? So, see, all the sides are 10 centimeters, then they are equilateral triangles, right? Yes, ma'am. So, what will be the angles? Angle 60 degrees, ma'am. Yeah, so all the angles are also equal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, so they are congruent, ma'am. Yes, They are congruent, ma'am. Okay, Supraja is also telling me they are congruent. What about Ashish? Ma'am, they are all congruent, ma'am, because the all sizes and the degrees all, all are same, ma'am. That's why the they are congruent, ma'am. 
Okay, they are congruent. So, I am getting they are congruent. Do, what do you think Saraswati? So, others please answer through chat box. Let me see whether your answers are all S or no. What is your answer? Ma'am, they are congruent. Okay. So, most congruent, ma'am. Congruent. Okay, most of you are saying they are congruent. Okay, then let me tell, let me show you how they are congruent. See, but they are they are see one triangle is like this and the other is like this okay i am going to take uh, cut out one piece and then going to place it so i am going to just move it and keep it over the other triangle and then see what i am doing i am rotating right so i am just rotating and then keeping it there so what do you think are they congruent yes ma'am it had completely fit yeah right yeah they are congruent. so they are congruent yes they are congruent so for two triangles to be congruent you just need to see whether all the corresponding lengths and the corresponding angles are the same okay so there are some other conditions which we can simply use and then tell that these triangles are congruent which we will study in the coming lessons so for now to check whether two triangles are congruent, you have to check whether the corresponding lengths and corresponding angles are equal. So, here they were equal. So, let me show you another one. So, I am going to just see. Right now, do you think they are congruent? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Yes, ma'am. See, they, they are not of the same uh, shape, right? Um, but their corresponding sides and lengths were equal, uh, major, uh, angles were equal. No? Yeah, their corresponding lines and angles are always equal. Okay. Okay, then let me show you. So, I am going to try and okay, move it there and then I am rotating it and then fixing it. So, from this, so they are perfectly fitting. So, they are congruent. So, from this we can say that you can rotate figures. You can move figures. You can rotate and there is one more thing you can do if you are considering a polygon something like okay so for congruent measures what you can do is you can just move it you can rotate it and even you can take the mirror image of that figure to check whether they are congruent okay yes, uh, I'll, 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 I'll show you then uh, then only you will get that okay and now my next question is what do we say that two when do we say that two polygons are congruent so we have seen triangles and quadrilateral okay squares so in general when do we say that two quadra two polygons are congruent same measures same measures when they are having same length and same angles now same lengths and same angles. Fits and angles. That means their corresponding sides and angles. Mm. Their corresponding sides and the angles were equal. Oh, okay. So till now we were saying some Ma corresponding. No. Yeah. Ma'am, and also the lengths of side, the number of sides should be also be equal, ma'am. Okay, number of sides should also be equal. Yes. Okay. So, till now you were just telling me corresponding angles and sides. So, so, I want to check whether you understood corresponding sides and angles. So, here I have a triangle ABC and a triangle PQR. So, suppose that, uh, so this is an equilateral triangle. So, this is also an equilateral triangle and they are of measure 10 centimeter. So, just like I said, okay. Oh, okay. Then we can't say. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Mm. Suppose that this is so okay. They are not equilateral, but they are, let me say, they are isosceles. So, AB. So, this is 10, yeah, this is 10, this is 10, and this is 10. So, again, if I take, 
Okay, do what do you understand by uh, corresponding sides? Can you tell me? Mom, AB is corresponding to peak to mom. Okay, so yeah, let me just make it like that then. So this is 18. And AC is corresponding to PR mom. Yeah, so you are looking at those sides and angles which are which are in the same position as that of uh, when they when yeah. we place it one above the other they should one over they should equal they should be they should be equal mom yeah they when should be equal we are rotating mom yeah if the side if the shape is not yeah well so then the side which is uh, equal to the next figure equal to the next side of uh, equal to the side of an extra next figure then it is said to be corresponding the yeah so if you if two figures are congruent we can place one above the other and cover it properly right so if i just take so a square uh, like this so if they are congruent then i can place take it and place it uh, correctly properly above this so that it fixed properly so and then these sides this side and this side they are uh, they are the corresponding sides because when I place it over here properly, so here a, this is AB and let it be CD. So if I place A and C in such a way that they are coinciding, then B and D should also be coinciding, right? So these sides we call it as corresponding. Is that clear for all? Is anyone having a doubt there? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes. yes. Okay, now let us go to this polygon. So, I was getting uh, so many answers like same uh, angles, same measures, same sides. Okay, then. And number, and even number of sides. Yeah, even number of sides should be same. Yes. So, let us see that. Yeah. So, here. Okay, here we have so many polygons. Okay. Okay, children, here we have some nine polygons. So I now we are going to check whether they are congruent. Okay. So to check whether they are congruent, we can either move them directly, we can rotate them, there is no problem, and we can even take their mirror images. That is uh, so you, you can reflect it. Uh, are you getting my point, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, getting it. Okay. Then let's see this. So I am rotating it. Then I re reflected it. That is, I took a mirror image and then I placed it over. So. Okay. Then. So the first figure. Now the second figure rotating and then moving it over. And now the third figure. So reflecting, moving, rotating and then I changed. Okay. Yeah, so what do you say? Are they congruent? Were they congruent? Yes, ma'am, they are congruent. Yes, ma'am, they are congruent. Yeah, so they are congruent. So for polygons, as you were said, saying, so the number of sides should be uh, same. So number of sides and angles should be same. And so, yeah, number of sides should be the same. And then you need to check the corresponding angles as well as the corresponding sides are equal okay so and to check whether they are congruent you can either uh, rotate them you can move them you can take their mirror images or then you can reflect it okay is that clear is that clear yeah, 
okay now we are going to check whether we are where are we using this uh, the idea of congruency where do we use congruency so we have learned so many things where do we use congruency ma'am yeah we use congruency in the both are equal the equal or not to see okay to check whether two objects are equal Uh, Ramya, I didn't hear that. Ma'am, in grocery shops we can use that, ma'am. Uh, in grocery shops, for what we are using this? Can you elaborate? As ma'am, uh, to equal any two things, ma'am. Congruency to e. Okay, specifically, can you say? Ma'am, I'll repeat again. Yeah, where are we using congruency? So we are learning this. So there should be some use. So in grocery shops, I didn't quite get that uh, yeah. idea. Yeah. Can I say, ma'am? Okay, tell me. Ma'am, uh, there is a equal means we used to calculate the equal. No, ma'am. There is a machine. No, ma'am. In grocery shops. Uh, you are talking about a weighing machine or something like that. Ma'am, in the grocery shops, they to equal. They use na ma'am some iron metal like that to weight equal. A weighing machine, weighing. Ah yes, ma'am. So congruency means you are. So where is that congruency coming up? There is a balancing coming up, right? But there is no congruency. So ma'am, example yeah. when I balancing. The for example, there is two kg of flour dough, ma'am. Okay. When I balancing this two kg of flour dough equally, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, when they have uh, same size and mass, ma'am, then only I get no ma'am equal. So then I give ma'am. Ma'am, in the phone, it's our show. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ramya, that that idea is uh, like equality. Okay. And um, uh, Harika was saying something in the furniture shop. Furniture shop, ma'am. Uh, in furniture shop, where do we use this? Here the to measure the wood, ma'am. That means if you want to. Mm hmm. Yeah. If you want to prepare the bed, ma'am. Okay. So they should see the measurement, ma'am. Ma that means uh, the opposite side, or the equal. Okay, you your ideas are kind of vague. Okay, let me give you one example, and then I think you can come up with. So the look at the coins which I have shown you in the beginning, right? Yes, so, ma'am. So the uh, so how do they make this exactly similar coins? So the year, if if the year, uh, if a year of production and the same cast is used for creating these coins, so all the coins will be identical. right so we can easily easily identify 1 rupee coins we can easily differentiate it from 5 rupee or 10 rupee coins right yes ma'am so there we are using congruency so wherever you are using a mold or a cast to to create identical objects like uh, the bottles which i told you which i showed you in, uh, in the beginning the medicine bottles so they are produced in mass uh, in in a mass so they will be they should be identical so there uh, the uh, machines which are casting all this which are molding this they will be having the same shape so that everything will be identical there we are using congruency similarly if you take ice cubes in an ice tray okay so they uh, so the ice cubes from the same ice tray will be identical right they will be having either a circular shape or a square shape or a cube they will be almost like a cube right before they start melting so whenever you are making something in a large quantity and whenever you want it to be identical you will create a cast which is identical to uh, which will be using the idea of congruency okay similarly when you are looking at as candles so 
the candles in a packet will be almost in the same shape and same size, right? If, if you take a packet of candles. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, they should. Two, choose. Two, choose. Yes, Ramya. Ma'am, uh, when we buy shoes, we uh, we go go to them with a measurement, no, ma'am, like seven, like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then back, ma'am, and the same size. Okay, you will draw your. If you are not going for buying a shoes for yourself, if your parents are going, then you just draw the figure and then, ah, uh, yeah, there also you will. Use that congruence. Yeah. Ma'am, yeah? ma ma our fingers. Our fingers? Yes, ma'am. When we compare our hands, fingers. Okay, the fingers of both the hands will be congruent. Yes. Ma'am, and also the tray of X. Array of X? Tray, ma'am, tray of X. Oh, tray of X, S, S, S. Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, S, Siddhartha? Size of clothes. Size of clothes, S. Yes. Yeah. So, whenever we are uh, identical objects have to be made, we use the uh, concept of congruency. Okay? You can think more about this. And, yeah. Now we are coming to uh, the subject more. So here we have so many triangles. So, so this is the triangle we have to consider and look at the figures 2, 3, 4 and 5. So tell me which will be congruent to this triangle ABC. So you have to take this as your triangle ABC and here you have, yeah. But if they are congruent, like uh, yes, T, yes, T, C, ma'am. STC. STU. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, triangle ABC is congruent with triangle MR and ma'am, triangle ABC is congruent to okay. triangle QRP, ma'am. Wait one second. So, let us first compare figure 1 and 2. Okay. So, Take a look at this figure, triangle ABC and triangle RQP, okay, these two triangles and tell me are they congruent? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, they are yes, congruent. Ma yes, ma'am, they yes, are congruent. Okay, you are telling me they are congruent. So, how do you think they are, how do you find that they are congruent? Ma'am, the corresponding lengths and the angles are equal, ma'am. Okay, corresponding lengths. So, here AB is 4.5. So, the, where is 4.5 centimeter in this triangle? Mom, QP. Okay. So, AB is corresponding to QP. Okay. So, when you, when you are, when you say that two triangles are equal, you can consider their corresponding sides. Right. So, for that you will just use an arrow. So, double sided arrow and this means that they are corresponding. Okay. Okay, children? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, I will just write AB yes, is corresponding to QP and what about this side? BC, 5 centimeter? Ma'am, 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 corresponding to RQ. Okay, BC is corresponding to RQ. Then, what about AC? AC is corresponding to RP, ma'am. RP, okay. Oh, okay, sorry. RP. Yeah. Okay. So, these two triangles are congruent. What about first and third one? Are they congruent? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So, Three why do you think they are not congruent? Third one and fourth one. Okay. You have to just look at this first figure. Uh, that is triangle APC and triangle DFE, okay. See here I have 4.5 centimeter, here also I have 4.5 centimeter. Similarly look at 5 centimeter, here also I have 5 centimeter and here 4 centimeter, 4 centimeter. So they are congruent, you just have to rotate, right? And yes, the angles, they 
they are equal okay. so you can see this ma'am but the corresponding lengths were not equal no ma'am so here the corresponding lengths were equal see you can take like this so so if i take ab the length is 4.5 so here ab is corresponding to df the length is 4.5 like that you can write the correspondence okay and similarly let me tell you so here we just showed that 1 and 2 are con yes yes children yes uh, can you mute your voice if you are not uh, having any doubt just mute your voice ah, okay so here we just saw that we just saw that yes children can you mute your voice siddhartha can you mute mute okay so here we have seen that ab is uh, ab is corresponding to qp okay how will you write this correspondence uh, this triangles are congruent so triangle abc is congruent to triangle so how will you write this co correspondence okay congruency any idea just guess mom yeah mom you are asking the symbol mom not the symbol so how will you so if you if you just say that triangle abc okay let's go to the another another one and then i'll tell you so if triangle pqr is congruent to triangle abc we just write like this so triangle pqr corresponding uh, congruent to triangle abc so this is the symbol of congruency do you know this yes ma'am ah. already know that yeah you already know so there will be a curly sign something like this and then there is two equal to sign so if you put it then it means that the figures are congruent so you know that yes ma'am yes yeah yes so here if we say that triangle pqr is congruent to triangle abc then it means that the corresponding angles and corresponding sides are equal so if you are taking the angle p angle p should be corresponding to angle a okay so if we are writing like this similarly angle q should be corresponding to angle b and angle r should be corresponding to angle c and since two triangles are congruent this angle should also be equal so angle p is equal to angle a angle q is equal to angle b and angle r is equal to angle c is that clear with you so if you write yes, triangle pqr is congruent to triangle abc that means that the corresponding angles so p angle p is equal to angle a so look at the positions so first one is p so uh, that should be equal to angle a second angle is q q should be equal to angle b and third angle is r r should be equal to angle c so you cannot just um, and similarly one more thing so if you take the side pq so pq should be corresponding to the side ab okay pq should be corresponding to side ab qr should be corresponding to which side so the next side qr is second and third so it will be bc second and third like that okay and pr pr should be corresponding to ac so are you getting this point yes ma'am so the corresponding sides and corresponding angles should be equal equal and they should be coinciding like that so if you just write triangle pqr is congruent to triangle abc okay so now let's go here so tell me how will you write triangle abc is congruent to this triangle 
So, the angle A should be equal to angle B. Okay, here we cannot see look at the angle. So, let us look at sides. So, A B should be congruent to Q P, right. Children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I did not get that, Gidiga. Ma'am, triangle ABC is equal to triangle PQR. Triangle PQR. So, she is telling me triangle ABC congruent. It is not equal, it is congruent. That's so, tri triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. Then let us check. So, AB. Look at AB, the side. So, the side corresponding to AB is? PQ, ma'am. PQ, ah, okay. PQ or QP. So, this, ah, okay. PQ, okay. This one. And what about the side corresponding to BC? 5 centimeter? RQ ma'am. RQ ma or QR. Ah. Yeah, we can write both. So, this is correct. So, A, uh, AB, PQ, AC. So, that should be PR. So, AC, yeah, 4 centimeter, PR, 4 centimeter. It is like that they are congruent. So, do you get that? Is that okay with you? Yes ma'am. Yes, okay, now tell me the figure 1 and figure 3. Are they congruent? You can rotate. You can even take the uh, this yes, image. No. Uh, reflect them and then mirror image. Yes, okay, then tell yes, me. Are, congruent. are they congruent? Ma'am, they are not congruent. Why? Why they are not congruent? Ma'am, their angles may be different, ma'am. No, no. The, uh, there is some. No, the condition is that, see, look at this angle. So, they have been just marked like this. So, all the angles are equal here. So, do not look at the angles here. Like, just look at the sides. Okay. Then they are congruent, ma'am. Sides are congruent, ma'am. congruent, ma'am. So, all are telling me they are congruent. So, AB is corresponding to DF, right? So, AB, AB is nothing but 4.5 centimeter. So, that is corresponding to? DF. Yeah, DF. Similarly, DF. BC. BC will be corresponding to? DE, ma'am. DE, ma'am. DE. DE. Okay. AC will be corresponding to? EF. FE, ma'am. FE or EF. Okay. Now, tell me the tri congruency triangle ABC is congruent to? Triangle DEF. Triangle DEF. Okay. Then, let us check. AB is corresponding to DE. Okay. Is in that? That is not DEF. Right? Ma'am, FD. FD, ma'am. It is FDE. Okay. FD. A, B is corresponding to F, D, okay. B, C is corresponding to D, A, C is corresponding to F, D. Ah, yeah, it should be F, D. We cannot write it as triangle D, E, F, okay. You should then okay. look at the angles as well as the sides which they are forming. So, the corresponding uh, sides should be equal. Okay, then. Okay, children. Okay, I will give the okay, rest for you to check in your from your home, okay. Yeah. So, as we have said, so if two triangles are congruent, we will use this symbol. So, triangle PQR is congruent to triangle ABC. And if that, if they are congruent, then that means that the vertices, vertex P is uh, corresponding to vertex A, vertex Q is corresponding to vertex B and vertex R is corresponding to vertex C. Okay. Similarly, the side PQ will be uh, like uh, they it will be coinciding with the side a b or you can just say that it covers a b so if you just take the triangle and then rotate it and then place it over this triangle so there should be perfectly fitting or they should be covering this so i so if you take angle a so angle p will be placing covering angle a properly Okay. So, we will just say angle P is corresponding to angle A, angle Q is corresponding to angle B, angle R is corresponding to angle C. Similarly, the sides PQ is corresponding to AB, 
QR is corresponding to BC and PR is corresponding to AC. Okay, children? Is that clear okay. for all? Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, so the conditions. Just note this down. If two triangles, so triangle PQR is congruent to triangle ABC. So, what are the conditions? What does that mean? And the corresponding Hi. angles will equal. Yeah. And the corresponding sides will equal. No? Corresponding sides will be equal. Corresponding angles will be equal. Okay. So, let me just write the vertices first. So, what are the vertices of triangle PQR? Ma'am, PQ and R ma'am. Yeah, PQ and R. What about ABC, triangle ABC? A, B and C ma'am. Yeah, A, B and C. So, can you tell me the correspondence of these vertices? Like um, and, uh, uh, A P ma'am. Yeah, A P B C R C ma'am. R C yes. And B Q ma'am. Yeah. So we just write. So we'll take one vertex P and then put a double headed arrow. So it will be like this, and then we write this as A. So it means that P corresponds yes, to A. Okay. This symbol means yes, corresponds. Yeah. Now let's see the angles. Tell me the angles, corresponding angles. Um, angle P is equal to angle B, ma'am. Yeah. Angle Q is equal to angle B, ma'am. And angle R is corresponding to angle C, ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I only had one voice. Okay, I understood that you were trying to say. So angle P is corresponding to angle A. Similarly, yeah. Uh, angle Q is corresponding to angle B and angle R is corresponding to angle C. Now, let us look at the sides. So, yeah, I would like to have Gedika to answer, one, give me one side, one corresponding side of the triangles. Okay, ma'am. Angle, uh, sorry, ma'am. AB is equal to PQ, ma'am. AB is equal to PQ. Yes, they are equal, but tell me the correspondence. So, AB corresponds to? PQ. Yeah, PQ. AB corresponds to PQ. And I want, who is, uh, Remya, can you tell me another side? Yes, ma'am. BC equal to RQ, ma'am. Okay. BC equals, that is correct. So, BC is, we are writing corresponding side. So, BC corresponds to RQ. Okay. Venkat. Can you give me another side? Another corresponding side? Can I, ma'am? Harika, uh, Supraja, okay, tell me. AC is equal to PR, ma'am. AC is equal to PR, okay. So, I will write this as AC corresponds to PR. They are also equal, yes. Yeah. Okay, now these are corresponding sides and corresponding angles, even corresponding vertices. So, for two congruent triangles, we will say that corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. Okay, so we can even uh, give a short form, we will just say that CPCT. Okay, what does that mean? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay. So, can you read this statement, the last one? So, this one, I would like to have. Ashish, can you read? Yes, ma'am. In, in a congruent triangle, comparing corresponding. the parts are equal. Yeah. Parts are equal, and we write a short C E C T T for the comparing parts or the congruent triangles. It's not comparing; it's corresponding. Okay. So, what do you mean by CPCT? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay. Okay. Yes. So, CPCT. We just so this is very big, right? Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So, that's very big. So, we just shortly write it as CPCT. So, we can say that CPCT 
are equal that is corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. 